Hi guys, it's Nigel. Welcome back to my channel. So usually you see me traveling the world and living my best life, but this is a very accurate, uh, regular schmegular week in my life. This is typically um, how things have been a little bit lately. So come along with me and I hope you enjoy. If you do subscribe to my channel and like my video. Okay, bye. I take a drink, I hate it. I tell you what you are. Mm. Good morning! Okay, so I'm on my morning walk, just creating good habits so I can live a fantastic and fabulous life. I had a feeling you guys might think that the title of this video is a little clickbaity, um, but it's not. Do you guys remember when Kanye dropped that documentary about himself called Genius? And the entire time in the documentary is like his come up story. And people kept asking him, why are you recording yourself? Why are you recording yourself? He was like, because one day I'm gonna be famous and I want to make a documentary about it. That's kind of my thought process, sharing that with you guys on my walk. Cause I'm about to edit and put this video together for you guys. So yeah, I'm making this vlog because like I am on my come up story. And one day you guys are gonna ask me, Nyjah, how did you do it? And I'm gonna be like, I documented it all on my channel, you know? There'll be no questions about it. Anyway, you know, maybe instead of wondering what I'm doing with my life, maybe you guys should go create some good habits. Like walking in the morning for 30 minutes or meditating. <laughs> anyway, um, enjoy the vlog. Okay, so I'm at the beach and I just realized you cannot hear anything I'm saying. So here's my voiceover. I am doing a maternity shoot for a client and that is basically what's going on here. And yeah, enjoy the shoot. I'm gonna edit these pictures now. I am looking at them on the cameras. It was a cold and windy day and we're gonna do our best. I'm probably not gonna start editing them tonight. Um, I'm just gonna watch this movie and kind of chill out, but I did want to see what I got. So giving you guys an update. I'm getting lazy. I'll probably be going to sleep soon. Hey guys, it's the next day and I am about to go to the grocery store. I had orientation this morning for a new gig that I'm doing over the summer, so that's really exciting. It involves me getting to go to concerts and um, work with different brands, so that's kind of fun. And yeah, I'm really trying to keep up with the vlogs, but honestly, like I said, I don't think my life is that entertaining at this moment, but um, Still happy to show up for you guys. Another day, another DoorDash order. <laughs> I actually am in a really good mood today though because it's a Friday and I just got paid today uh, from my brand ambassador job and it was a pretty sizable check so my day has already been made ever since seeing that deposit in my bank account. Um, and something about having money in your bank account makes you wanna go even harder. So I am door dashing right now to make even more money um, because I have a little financial goal that I wanna reach in the near future. So anyway, giving you guys an update. What am I doing this weekend? I have no clue, but right now we are about to drop off an order. Good morning! I literally woke up literally moments before hopping in the car. Um, I'm taking Michiko to the park this morning. Um, there's so much ruckus and chaos and all kinds of other shenanigans going on in my apartment today, so I figured I better get out as quickly. There's Michi right there in the back, and I think we need to stop at Starbucks first and get a little bevy. And yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know how to act. I haven't like vlogged in so long. I'm like, what do I? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like 
I feel like every vlogger says this, but like literally, I feel like my life is not very interesting at the moment. And so like, what is it that you guys could possibly want to see? I don't know, but I'm taking you with me. Um, there's so many things going on in my life and it's been a little bit of madness um, hence why you guys don't see me right now but I promise you I'm getting it all together <laughs> as a 28 year old in America you know like I'm acting very energetic right now guys but like it's been rough okay and I think that's kind of why I slowed down with my manifestation content because I felt like what kind of person is gonna want a manifestation coach that literally has up and down days every other day but I guess that's what human beings do so anyhow to Starbies and to the park did I just trauma dump oh my god I'm so sorry if I just trauma dumped on you guys it's not trauma I just does anybody else like feel like you need to ask somebody if they're in a good place before you just start dump dumping on your baggage on them? I appreciate when people ask me if I'm in a good place before they just start dumping their baggage on them. Um, okay, anyway, let's let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Nigel. Okay, so right now I I'm door dashing and I've never recorded myself door dashing before but I'm doing this because I'm gonna be extremely successful one day in the future and I would like to have uh, evidence of the life that I was living before I blew up so um yeah I for a long time really was afraid to make this type of content because you guys know me as a manifestation life coach and all that other great stuff and I love that I love my business and I love working on my business but sometimes business is slow and I have to do other things to pick up the slack so um, yeah, I'm door dashing right now and I'm taking you guys with me. I will say my favorite thing about door dashing um, is I like driving through really beautiful neighborhoods. That's really fun to me. And also my favorite thing is doing my inner work while I drive. So I'm like constantly listening to like podcasts and ebooks and watching YouTube videos about personal development and mindset and energy work. So I guess that's a luxury that I wouldn't get if I was working a regular nine-to-five job which I already decided a long time ago that that wasn't for me um, and I even had that point in my life last year of going back to corporate um, in a marketing position just to see you know like did I miss the mark is there something for me in the regular world of nine-to-five and there wasn't I immediately went back to freelancing and photography which that's what I do now I do photography and I'm still a coach um, but obviously like right now when I have bills to pay and I just want extra income I will go DoorDash so um, yeah I'm picking up orders right now it's kind of a like rainy day which is fun to DoorDash when it's rainy and like I said I'm always like watching personal development but um, again just making this content for the future for when I blow up for when I'm inevitably successful and I can say you know what guys I used to do what I didn't love you know like is door dashing the absolute highest leverage or highest paying leveraging skill no but is it gonna get my needs met for today absolutely and while I'm doing it I'm working on my energy and my mindset and being grateful for what I have and I really love driving around in my car listening to music and educating myself so that's all I have to say right now and yeah <laughs> get clients and for the first time in her entire life she has a savings this is a woman who was living on the street as an alcoholic and for the first time she's got like this decluttering business and she has this was like that this doesn't I want abundance so I need to do this from a place of mm -hmm. abundance. And I'm like, the power outage? Yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh, like from the movie, Leave the World Behind. <clears throat> I haven't seen that, and I feel like the reason why I haven't seen that is because that's not that's not a consciousness I need to go. Like, I feel like that is them, like, showing, they have to tell you that they're making these bunkers, okay? Mm. And they have to tell you everything that they got going on. But I'm trying, trying to tell you that that's not what that is. You know, no one is about to do none of that. But them lizards can't can't stay here. And they're showing you with the lizard eye. They show you, they show you, they, they show it to you, okay? Mm -hmm. The reptilians you know? and everything yeah. like that. They do, and they tell you that they done jumped in Mark Zephyr for first body, and <laughs> made a little clone body of that. Yeah, you know they show it. They Justin Timberlake. They say they jumped in that motherfucker. They tell you which one they use it, and they all white suits. None of them are black. I don't know if they can't why. Get anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say why are they only choosing the white bodies? Why aren't they choosing the melanated bodies? Yeah, I don't know. So they can die in that body too. Like they can use it to walk around like they've been doing it, but they're not gonna be able to use it this summer. Mm, oh, cause the new sun frequency is coming out. Yeah. And that's why they're pushing the narrative that, oh, you need to go get a bunker, apocalypse, go underground because they need to start transitioning underground. They need to eat you. They need to <laughs> And they fun. need, yeah, they need a power source underground with them. You said they need to eat you. <laughs> we're going to take all that energy back and then we're going to believe in ourselves and invest in ourselves and go after our own goals. And they are the ones who are going to sacrifice mm. their reputations, their lives, everything. Because for so many years, I mean, eons, we praise them and we used it in the wrong way. That makes so much sense about how the celebrities have to be villainized in this day and age so that we will take our power back. And I feel like that has to do with the religion, too, because so many of the artists are like, oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. But once they realize they've been claiming Jesus and also been acting crazy, that's another layer or level of people having to take their power back from celebrities and from religion. Yeah. Or oh, whatever. They're just creating these demigods, you know, for the energy to go to instead of back to people like, stop looking at oprah as a guy okay once you find out she's a regular person that rape kids you don't be like well you know what i need to invest in myself i'm putting all this money in oprah I <laughs> yeah go work hard and get my own car mm -hmm. yeah bitch that's what they're gonna do yeah wow a you humiliation know? ritual oh it's like all these years they've been getting the praise the praise the praise the praise just so that they can like do a really big fall mm -hmm. Ooh, dang it's the ultimate humiliation ritual hey guys it's day i don't even know what um but i'm doing something new today and i'm going on a nature trail so i have my dog with me and we are walking into it right now and it's so pretty can you see look how pretty um, I know that you guys are gonna ask, did you bring a weapon? And I actually do have one. I watch a lot of van lifers on YouTube and they're always going to some really cool like parks and stuff. So I'm like, I wanna start doing that. And this morning I randomly was like, hmm, wouldn't it be nice to go to a new like walking trail? Cause I always say, I wanna be in the woods, I wanna be in the forest, so. Yeah, I did it. This is so fun and exciting. Um, okay, I should put my technology away now and be present, but I'm actually really proud of myself for coming here because I almost wasn't gonna come, but I feel like I'm in the forest. It's so cool. Okay. <laughs>
So while I'm taking this walk, I decided we should talk for a little bit, like just like a little bit, like just, okay? Okay, so intuitively, my guides recently told me, not recently, I'm sure I've gotten the download before, but they said that I need to start going in nature and recording content. So I've decided and made sure to bring my camera with me this time on this walk. But guys, honestly and truly, why I've been inconsistent on my YouTube channel is because in my personal life, I have not been the happiest. Um, and honestly, I find it really refreshing and actually appreciate it when YouTubers come on their channel when they're not feeling the happiest and talk about it because it makes them human and you can relate to them and yeah I'm really excited about this new chapter of where I am in life because I feel like I have just recently come out of I don't know like you know how they say like the dark night of the soul or something like that I feel like I'm finally getting to the end of it and just seeing so much more purpose and clarity so I can appreciate going through that and yeah I just feel really happy and grateful to be here right now in the woods with my camera because I'm doing it I'm doing what my guides told me to do and it's actually so beautiful out here if you guys can see like uh, nature is just Perfect. So, like I said, this was a new walking trail for me. And my guides just said, try something new. I do wish I had brought my Starbucks cup with me though. But maybe it's for the best that I didn't. <laughs> But this is awesome. I have to come out here again. And there's like nobody here. It's just so peaceful. And the weather is perfect. Guys, I think this might be what my dream life feels like. I think it just feels like being out in nature. If I had more space, like a little like rucksack bag or something, I would have brought my journal and like sat out here and journaled. But I was thinking to myself, like, what if I just like make this my thing? <laughs> like finding new places outside that I like to explore. And just like, I really enjoy walking. I love the walking trails. I have a dog, so of course I gotta walk anyway because she needs her exercise. Look at that little meatball. Um, but I also just love being in nature. And it's like a part of one of my new, in not new intentions, but like I'm really trying to be intentional about taking a 30 minute walk every day. Not just for my dog, but like for myself and my mental health. So I think finding new places to walk in nature would make that a really fun thing. And then also just being in nature is just good for you anyhow. I think I'm going to meditate and um, see if there are any intuitive downloads that want to come through that I can share on my spirituality channel. Because that's what my guides told me to start doing. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi guys, it's Nija and we are starting our video now. Um, so I got guided to go back into the woods today. So that's where we are. And I know this sounds crazy y'all. But God told me to do a sesh in the woods. Okay, and I'm like say less so here we are I'm a little bit nervous I do have my dog with me um, why am I nervous because this is my first time um, doing this come on camera girl you got this my first time doing this okay 
not having a sesh but like being out in the woods and also vlogging it so I'm gonna pick this back up when we find a spot hopefully there's somewhere for us to sit or something um, and we're gonna spark it up together Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this seems like a pretty decent spot. There's somewhere for me to sit. Um, I'm contemplating going a little bit further just to see what else is back here, but I think this will be the spot. <laughs> okay, we made it. I have this hat on because it was raining earlier and I wasn't sure if it was gonna start again, but we found a spot. Oh my gosh, my dog is pulling me. Come back here, little girl. This is Michi. Come here, bug. Say hi. <laughs> She's um, keeping me protected out here, I guess you could say. But she's gonna go do what doggies do. I don't know. Because I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I don't. I'm just here i'm just here and i'm living okay okay i felt <coughs> so, <coughs> so lost <laughs> sorry i was looking for my dog i'm like where did she go i have no idea what i'm doing today something told me to come out into the woods today and have a sesh so here we are that's what we're doing um I don't really know what I want to say except for maybe that I feel like I'm tired of feeling the urge that there is nothing more to live for than just to work and I am perplexed by this notion and so I just decided to be out in the woods today there is a butterfly like stuck to this leaf anyway oh there's somebody coming we will finish the rest of this video up a little bit later because i think and even michi agrees that it's a really nice day out to be like camping and hiking and like just being out in the woods and so hopefully she doesn't get like too too excited and there's like people out kind of walking and walking their dogs <laughs> do you see how easy it kind of feels like it was to um, find a good path and walking with our dog um, but anyway okay so i got a little bit i got a little bit shook because there were some other people on the little trail and i kind of just wanted to like vibe and be in my own little world and so yeah do you guys like how <laughs> how I just like got into character and started like talking to the camera like oh I'm not doing anything I'm just making a vlog it's no big deal my hair curls are starting to fall now <sighs> this is just the life of a stoner girl I guess <laughs> just kidding can I tell you guys something for the longest time I was afraid to like make content like this because you know I'm in the spiritual community and also a life coach and I just felt like people would be like oh why should we listen to you you know but honestly the people who resonate with me can come hang out with me and if you don't 
you don't have to <laughs> well I don't want to say that was a bust but <laughs> it was a little bit of a bust um, I guess there are other plans at play and that's fine I guess I'll just finish walking Michi <laughs> this is like the most unorganized and awkward vlog ever will anybody ever see it I have no idea